The princely palace is the result of different modifications and mergers that took place between the 15th and 20th centuries. Most of the work was carried out in the second half of the 17th century thanks to the will of the Gallone family, when Tricasi became the chief town of a vast principality extended in southern Salento. Among its people, the structure is also known as Castello, since for more than 300 years it offered protection and security to the inhabitants of the village. Over the centuries, the palace has retained its dual function, to defensive one, which can be found in its austerity and its military campasia, and the representative of feudal power, characteristic inherent to its majesty and in the magnificence of the interior spaces. The throne room is the direct testimony of the opulence and riches of the Gallone family of Tricase. At the center of the mosaic floor, there is a coat of arms of the noble family. In this hall, the Gallon princes received commercial agents, administered their vast estates and exercised their feudal rights. The Gallons, probably of Greek origin, belong to the New Zealand aristocracy of the 17th century, linked to the financial context of the production and export of oil and cereals. The old tourist magna, dating back to the 14th century, is next to the structure of the palace. The walls are thick and powerful. In fact, they reflect the style of the traditional medieval defensive architectures of Terra do Tranto. In the dungeons of the tower are preserved hundreds of graffiti carved over the centuries by prisoners. The incisions made by some Turkish Ottoman inmates must be dated back to the 16th century. Among these, the Volto del Giannizzero stands out. Since 1954, the palace is a municipal property and is the most important cultural container in the village.